Previously on Hardcore Pawn. What of our two little moles? Good Ronald is in orbit now, awaiting to be rescued. Okay, Randy, we have prepared a seat for you in the tourist chamber. Randy, it's not all about you, okay? Ronnie. Sorry, have I been have I been calling you by the wrong name the whole time? Parachutes deployed coming down at less than 3.3 meters per second. Life is good. Life is good. Rolling <laughs> 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 Pawn! Ronnie, give me a hug, man. Give me a hug. Let me just get in here. Come on, man. Just give me a hug. Give me a, give, give me, give me a bit of a kiss. Come on, just, just feel my butt a little bit. No, okay, that might have been a little bit too forward of me. But, Ronnie, is there any science that you can do? Well, you happen to be here. You're in the Highlands. Apparently, we've been to the Highlands before. You catch yourself as you nearly step into a 100-meter crevasse and slide down a massive glacier. No wonder they call this the Highlands. Uh. Yeah. Look at all them glaciers. Stage one of the two-part mission complete. We got Ronnie back successfully. And we also recovered, you know, almost nothing. But look, we're up to 236,000 because Ronnie is still alive and he's gotten two XP too. And he's one of ours, right? Now you're going to be in here for me because I brought you back, Ronnie, right? You're with us, right? Ronnie, Ronnie, you are. You're available for the next mission. We picked up an engineer. That is so cool. That is so cool. It's my first time playing KSP, everyone. <laughs> it is cool. We brought Ronnie Kerman home successfully. He was lost in orbit. We picked him up, an engineer that is now amongst us, now in our ranks. It went beautifully. His feet are on the ground, and we didn't even break his ankles. The second part of this mission is that the ship we sent up that recovered Ronnie still has about 2,000 Delta V in it, and its destination is the moon. Hello, you wee little probe. Are you ready to go to the moon and take some temperature scans and collect a bunch of science and monies for us? Yeah? Good. Good probe. Good probe. Let's go. Welcome to the moon, little pod. Um, what's, have we got temperature scans from way out here? Because man, I've got all the, that's really all I brought here is temperature scans, but let's take as many as we possibly can. Come on, let me touch you. Let me touch you, you know you like it. Yeah, we've already gotten it in space high over the moon. I'm coming for you, temperature scans. I'm coming for you. I'm already plotting my eccentric orbit to get you all in one swoop. Oh, 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 periaps, look out. Okay, quarter of a million meters over the moon. Let's start looking at these contracts. What exactly do we want, need to do? Um, below 8,800, below 8,200, and above 7,000. So basically, we pass between 7 and 8,200. That's a narrow window, but it's certainly one that we can achieve. Wait, wait, wait. Before we start this, we need to look at the other contract. There should be another contract. Gene just called me up on the telephone and said, Ronan Pullen, we've got more temperature scans if you'd like to take them. And I said, I would. Gene, let's do that. Thank you. Jeez. You know, you're going to wait all day to tell me what I need to know, Gene? Gene Kerman? God. I pay him way too much. Oh my God, there's all kinds of temperature scan over the moon missions. We've got to look at this. We've got to, you know, we got to peep the moon. See what's gonna work with what we've already taken. Ah, ah, I'm being assaulted by temperature scans. I'm being assaulted by temperature scans. Okay, so all of those go together. These are the ones that we've already got. Um, hmm. It looks like we'll just need to, this, none of them are going to work perfectly together. I kind of like the polars. So let's just go see what the money is because none of them, none of them, you know, are great. Okay, this one pays more, but it also asks us to do above 10.8 and then below 9.8. This one has below 12, above 11.3, below 11. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to do some, some janky stuff one way or the other, regardless of which we take, which means that the one to take is the one that pays the most. And that's what I've always been about, you know, the money. That's what I'm in it for. In regards to pretty much everything. 
Okay, let's get our solar panels back into the sun, and then let's figure out where and how we're going to descend to the moon. Everything is around 8 to 10 kilometers, so we gotta get low. Baby, get low, low, low. Low, 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 low. Whoa, okay, might have gone a little too far. Fine, we do have Delta V here. We do have a bit of Delta V in our pocket. So, we'll be okay. Even though I'm at the controls. Hang on, hang on, I'm seeing a line that draws right across those three. That would be much nicer in that we can actually make the adjustment from right about where we are right now and won't cost us a butt-ton of Delta V. Okay, okay, start doing that, Pawn. Start doing that. Nope, that's the wrong direction. That is entirely the wrong direction. Listen, I don't have the angry triangle and the not angry triangle to help me today, so I'm just testing and then going. Oh, yeah, burning toward the north. That would have been a good indicator. Yep, don't even need those triangles if you know what the hell you're doing, do you? Okay, site one is in our sights. Site, site one, sights, sights, site, site. What do you want? Uh, 7,000 meters above 7,000 near sector. Okay, we've got that. Here we are, our first scan of six. This is gonna take a minute for me. Log the temperature, and there's a scan near the, we just need to do it, right? And then that, that qualifies, doesn't it? Yes, we have done our first of several, several scans that need to, what the hell was that? Did anyone else just see an, a UFO over there? Oh my god. Are there little green men in this universe? There definitely are. I've seen them. I've killed many of them. I think we might even pass close enough to catch that one without making any adjustments. I think we might. Let's make a small adjustment just to be sure. And then we'll go around once and we'll just keep going until we've got them all. This will be easy, he said. Just remember, he said that. Okay, 10.8 kilometers above tri -Reef's frontier. What are we gonna be at when we get there? Oh, we're going up! And our apoapse is way too high. Okay, um, above 10.8. Well, hey, you know, that'll get her done. Oh my god, it's the Kraken's fault. It's always the Kraken's fault. I've never ever played this game anything but perfectly. It's always the Kraken's fault. Um, what do you want from me at the Kraken's fault? <laughs> you can have it all. Below 9.9 .9 kilometers, and then the next one is below 9.8 um, at area C2. Yes, so we need to get low for that. Um, oh, good, we're coming up on our periaps. to Kraken's Fault. It's a lovely place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live here. Another scan, and that is another completed contract. Next one, straight ahead. Welcome to C2NW2, a wonderful place to live, but you really don't want to visit it. Uh, so review the data, clear the data, log the temperature, thank you very much, that's another contract complete. Oh my god, completion rewards, we just earned 68,000 from that one, and we're not even done with the other one? Is that what I'm reading right there? Because it sure seems like it. Clear these contracts out. We are kicking butt and taking names in KSP. Hardcore pawn! Hardcore pawn! Hardcore pawn! Huh. The hell am I supposed to get that angle? I mean, I do have the Delta V for it. I guess I could just spin... Oh, my God. Maybe I don't have the Delta V for that. Uh... Ha. Yeah, I think the cheapest way to go is to, um... Just make our maneuvers right from in this butthole, right there. But it's gonna take us a long time to get to that butthole, so we'll use the butthole on this side. Oh yes, there's several buttholes over here. Yeah, we cleared that contract 
right, take it away. Get it, get it out of my face, okay? I, I did that. That's done, baby. Right? I don't look back at my past successes. I look forward at them. <laughs> That's usually failure for you. Shut up. Okay, I just noticed liquid fuel and oxidizer getting rather low. Let's do this the, um, the, the way that's cheap and go all the way around and come back. Sixty-three? Yeah, that's a little bit low, but I think we're still clearing the mountains on the moon. We're just sort of scraping the edges, maybe. We'll pick up some moon rocks as we go. Oh, we're missing it a little bit now. I think we'll still be in the area. I think they give you a pretty wide berth for these things. Please give me a, a wide berth for these things. I know the moon is spinning, so that's an issue. This is Nelly's mistake, right? No? The hell is Nelly's mistake? Why are there clouds on the moon? What? Does anyone else see clouds on the moon there? Okay, no, we missed Nelly's mistake entirely. Oh wow, that was Nelly's mistake. Uh, uh, I can fix this. I can fix this. Yeah, there's definitely cloud cover on the moon. <laughs> They've started producing cotton candy up here. Actually, is what that is. Um, I sent some boys up, and uh, they're they're still working out how to get it pink, but uh, until they do. You know, nice, fluffy, white mounds of cotton candy on the moon. Calling it moon cotton for your mouth. That's our slogan, for your mouth. Ooh, ooh, this is, this is interesting. I can't really tell whether or not I'm going to be at the height that I need to be. Nelly's mistake needs to be below 8,200 meters. We're uh, 6.2 on our periaps, and we are 10.8 on our apoaps. We'll probably be exactly 8,200 meters there. Um, mm, mm. I think I might burn a little retro right now. God, I'm getting really close to screwing this last bit of this mission up, aren't I? 3.2 liquid fuel. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah, all things considered, maybe I won't make that burn. Maybe we'll just um, hope and pray a little bit. We'll see how things look as we get a little bit closer to Nelly and the mistake. I knew when I saw that name, I knew. Need to be below 8.2 for Nelly. Nelly doesn't like you if you're, if you're taller than 8.2. Come on, get down, get down, get down. You're so close, you're so close. Oh my god, we're in Nelly's mistake now, but we're not low enough. We're not low enough. Don't make me go around again. Don't make me do it again. Please, for the love of God, we're not going to get low enough before we exit Nelly's mistake. Mother lover, cracker scratcher. Okay, well, if history repeats itself, it usually does, then by the time we go around the moon again, it will have spun and Nelly's mistake will be... Uh, mistaken. Here's what I want to do. I want to lock us down on the north, and I want to see if this RCS, because I do have an RCS tank in here, and it's got 15 monopropellant, and we've used none of it for anything. And I want to use the RCS to see if I can't make some maneuvers without screwing everything up. Um, screw, stop screwing everything. Don't screw it up. Well, I managed to use the RCS to lower our apoaps, which now puts us into the right height for Nelly. Really having a problem getting on the angle with her. So two things. One, I think I've been cheating a little bit without knowing it. Um, in that we have been having the little angry triangle occasionally, and I don't know why it shows up and why it then goes away. I think game glitching, 1.04 KSB. Um, the other thing is that I have to now recognize that my my normal points off in that direction. So if I'm going to make these corrections efficiently, I can't do it on the edge of the ball. I've got to figure out where I do need to do it. Yes! Yes, we did it! 
We did it. We're finally going to make it to Nelly's mistake at the right height, and we've still got 2.5 units of liquid fuel in order to make it to the next mistake. <sighs> My life is full of them. We are entering Nelly's mistake, finally, and at the right height. Get me this temperature scan so b b b before it goes by. After all we've done, please, for the love of God, don't review the data, discard the data, log the temperature, boom, collecting survey for Nelly's mistake, done. Done, baby. All right, we've just got one more to do, and we've got two and a half units of liquid fuel left in the ship in order to do it. If we can pull it off, I'm going to make it rain. I will make it rain on Bill and... Jeb, oh yeah, he's dead. Val. The last one is below 8,800 meters near zone 51ZB. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so close. It's so close. I need to lower. I need to lower my apoaps significantly. So we're gonna go down to the periaps, we're gonna lower the apoaps, and then once we've done that, we'll see what we can do down here with the RCS. We've still got monoprop, we've still got monoprop, people. We're gonna make this happen. What's the height we need? What's the height we need below 8800? We are below 8800, okay. Now we just need to twist this thing around in the direction that we need it. Do it! Are you moving? Are you moving? You're not moving. Why aren't you moving? Am I like, okay, I'm descending. That's not at all what I wanted to do. Let's use the last of the Delta V that's in the tanks. If I have to use monoprop, I will. We have 0.2 units of liquid fuel left. I'm gonna burn it all in one go in 3, 2, 1, Z. And, okay, that's as close as I've gotten so far. Apwaps is still at an okay place for doing this reading. I need to get the rest done with monoprop. I've got it here. I just have to actually make it work for us. That's the direction you want. Okay, we're gonna be I. We need I. We need lots and lots of I. Come on, I. Spin it. Spin it. Come on, you've got eight units. You've got eight units. You can do this. You can do this. The SAS is holding out pretty good. Okay, the eight units are going very slowly. Is this moving at all? Please be moving. Please be moving. Come on. Come on, I can see that you're moving. I can't see that you're moving. Are you moving at all? For Pete's sake? Am I going in entirely the wrong direction? Am I, like, gonna crash this thing into the surface of the moon? Yeah, probably you will. But first thing is you've got to actually cross over this. Okay, get it there. Get it there. Somehow. Somehow. God, we're missing it. We're so missing it. I mean, if we spin around the moon enough times, then we'll probably be okay. You know, we'll probably come across it again. Okay, quick question. How long does it take to orbit the moon? <gasps> this is it! This is it! This is the one! This is the one we're gonna get the data! We are so gonna get the data! Oh, thank God! Thank God for, you know, just waiting around for a couple of days until we came by it again, because that worked out. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Show me what the temperature is like on Duna and the other one. <laughs> Hello, Location 51ZB. You thought you'd gotten me, didn't you? You thought you'd stolen 60,000 Kerbins from me, but you haven't. You surely haven't. Come on, where are you? Come on. Where are you? Should you come on. There we are! We did it! Long the temperature, and bada bing! And bada bing! Boom, baby! Ah, oh, 68,000! We have completed all the temperature scans of the moon. Thank you very much. I am the Ronin Pawn. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat. You know, I didn't cheat. I Hey, I put it there, and it did eventually go over the place where we needed it to go. We have collected 475,000 Kerbins by completing three contracts in a single flight. Thank you very much. It only took us 40 days and 40 nights, so we're doing at least as good as Moses. I am the Ronin Pawn. I will see you next time on Hardcore Pawn. Pawn out. Like manna from heaven.